Cool, so let's talk about loans, rates, and all that good stuff. We know that uh, over the last 12 months, we've seen rates go from about three to four to five, six, seven, and even a little bit above that. And the good news is, if you're paying attention, we're starting to see these numbers come down, which is great news for people that are thinking about buying a home because it just mm -hmm. got that much cheaper. We'll throw some stats on the board so you can see, like we referenced, average price of a home in Contra Costa County at 860. It will give you an idea of what that payment looks like. Yeah, down payment, good. payment, things like that. So you get some perspective and we can also show you how things have changed. Now the expectation is, is as inflation starts to come down, right? Feds are doing their job. In fact, they raised the interest rates again, a quarter of a point yes. this past week. And surprise, surprise guys. Mortgage rates, rates on got the mortgage better. Side, they got better, they came down, right? So just because we're seeing things in the news doesn't necessarily mean that that means rates are going up because feds raise the rates doesn't exactly mean that they're doing their job inflation is coming down rates are coming down actually with six it. months in a row by the way inflation is six coming down. months in a row so we're not out of the woods yet but we're down low sixes yeah six and a half high percent fives, cpi right mm -hmm. uh, in terms of rates yes rates right in terms mm -hmm. of rates and we're just hoping that that continues to go lower and lower. So right now, buyers, this is your opportunity to get pre-qualified, to start checking into your options, to figure out what's what, because we talk about this window, we talk about this soft spot in the market, and it's closing, right? As more and more buyers realize that rates are coming down, they're gonna come back into the market ready to buy. And the more buyers we have, the more competition we're and, gonna have. And we're already seeing it on a lot of our listings, multiple yeah. offers on a lot of them. Yep. You know, actually, matter of fact, just to give you guys some heads up, a lot of our buyers right now, we're competing in certain areas around two to three to four offers right now, right? Not the 10, 20 offers we were seeing, but on a lot of our listings right now, we're competing with a few other offers, right? So it's still easy to, to get your offer accepted, but the reality of it is you're already seeing more buyer pool coming back out, which is good in the avenue of making sure that the market stays healthy. And another point there too is we expect our inventory levels, supply, not to go crazy through the roof, right? There's only so many sellers out there that are ready to sell their properties. We don't expect inventory to climb as fast as demand. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be an ever increasing competitive situation. So if you're thinking about it, don't think too hard, don't think too long. Start to make some calls, reach out to us. Yes. We can get some options in line for you. That way you're ready to make a decision when the decision is right to be made. Absolutely. Absolutely, for sure. Thank you, Ryan. We no appreciate problem. that. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little bit more of a market update. And I know I kind of tag team with Ryan's uh, lending update over there, but the reality of it is, is like we were talking about, CPI inflation has dropped down to 6.5%. Six months in a row, it's coming down. Now, here's the one thing that we have to talk about was we heard about the jobs that just came out. You heard about mm -hmm. it, right? 517,000 new jobs, right? The reality of it is that unemployment rate is 3.5%. 5% guys, 3.5, okay? So the reality is extremely low. We have a very good uh, employment market, right? And the feds are keeping eyes on that right now as we speak, but they're also keeping an eye on something else. Wages year over year and month over month, seeing how that increases because if wages can continue to increase, which means there's more money to be out there in the market for people to spend, means inflation won't come down as fast as they want. So the reality of it is, I will tell you, real estate market has been very healthy now. We're normalizing, we're starting to see that multiple offer situation come back, and we're starting to see home values basically, like I said, in most cities, stabilize, which is good for homeowners, right? 